Royal Highness, <coughs> dear Martin Essel, ladies and gentlemen, after this speech from the member of Norwegian, it's very, very hard to speak as a politician, but I will try. You are here, and we should hear to the words of the next generation, and it's our duty. It's a great honor and a particular pleasure for me to address you, you again this year at the Zero Budget Conference. As in previous years, the Zero Budget Conference, which has been organized wonderfully by the Essel Foundation, represents an important initiative for people with disabilities and has become a special occasion in our yearly calendar. It brings people from all over the world together and in so doing <clears throat> serves as an ideal platform for sharing experience and shaping opinion with an eye towards strengthening public awareness of the interests of people with disabilities. This is why I see it as my personal duty to be here, to be here every year. One of the most fundamental tasks of political leadership is to enable people with disabilities to participate in all areas of life. Consequently, opening up Parliament and democratic decisions making processes to everybody is a fundamental principle for any kind of political action. However, opening up the Parliament means much more than just removing the physical barriers to the building. Uh, we restore our Parliament and we will do the best in the best way. But it is more democracy. Mediation process must also become more accessible. That means that people with disabilities should be encouraged to actively participate in the political discourse. Only then can we say we have achieved full participation. Therefore, it stands to reason that nothing about us without us. It's the guiding principle of the self-representation of people with disabilities. Because they should speak for themselves and decide for themselves when it comes to their interests. In my capacity as president of the Austrian parliament, the National Council, it always has been a personal priority of mine to take the relevant steps in this, uh, this direction. As of this year, for example, the parliamentary administration has begun offering assistance to its staff by providing appropriate training on how to interact with people with disabilities. The aim is to avoid unintentional discrimination and to raise awareness of their needs. The redesign of the parliament's website also is an important contribution to its goal. Moreover, interesting and groundbreaking projects in technology and digitalization were presented at an event with the motto, Education, Inclusion and Digitalization, held yesterday and was mentioned uh, from Martin in the parliament. On the one hand, these projects help break down barriers, while at the same time they also serve as an incentive for new innovations. This brings me back to the responsibility of policy makers to ensure the inclusion of people with disabilities in society. Protecting and promoting the rights of people with disabilities is a top priority in Austria. Austria, and the ambassador uh, mentioned it, uh, ratified it, uh, the UN Convention on the Right of Persons with Disabilities in 2008 thereby expressing a strong commitment to protect uh, these rights by setting uniform standards for legislation and enforcement. Also has drawn up a national action plan to implement the 
UN Convention. Its aim, among other things, is to make support services for people with disabilities easier and more, access more accessible and keep bureaucracy to a minimum. Furthermore, in its coalition agreement, the current Austrian government has placed special emphasis on ensuring participation and education. As this uh, a basic uh, condition for leading a self-determined uh, life. The aim here is to provide open access to all forms of education. In other words, to ensure inclusion up to higher education. The government intends to achieve this through measures such as continuing to equip educational institutions to ensure accessibility continuing to provide the necessary tools and infrastructure, further developing the quality of educational services, providing properly trained educators and assistants throughout the education system, increasing special education hours, revising curricula, providing additional vocational training and opportunities, ensuring the best possible inclusion of children with special needs or disabilities in mainstream education, and restating the consulting board. This year's conference will focus on innovative practices and policies on education. However, it uh, will be very difficult for people with disabilities to lead a self-determined life if we fail to ensure that their participation throughout the education system. This is all the more important as this is only way to guarantee a basis for them to participate in the labor market and policy making. It must therefore be an interest of all of us to create the appropriate framework for, for this to happen. Because, uh, let me quote uh, the former uh, Minister of Labor of uh, Germany, Norbert Blum. Nothing is more important for persons with disabilities than to contribute to their own life through gainful employment. The agendas and projects presented uh, at the Zero Project Conference are important and indispensable contribution to achieving this objective. However, it's our common duty to further actively promote these developments in the future. Thank you for your commitment and for your attention and for your work uh, all over the year and especially in these three days. I wish you the best information and the best conference ever in 2020 in Vienna.